In this video, I'll show you how to set up the Wi-Fi Direct on your Epson Workforce Pro WF4820. This way you will be able to connect directly with your phone or computer to this Epson printer without having to pass through a Wi-Fi network. So let's get started. First thing, make sure your printer is turned on. Press the home screen over here so you are on this menu. Then you need to click with your finger on the top of the screen here. You see where there is a smartphone with a small Wi-Fi icon. Tap on this and then select Wi-Fi Direct. From here, you're going to select Start Setup. Then you're going to select which kind of device you want to connect directly to this printer. iOS is for everything that is an iPhone, an iPad. Android obviously for an Android tablet or maybe a smartphone and other OS devices is for everything that is a Mac computer, a Windows PC or even a Chromebook. I'll select the last option. Once you do this, you're going to see over here appearing the Wi-Fi name of this printer that you need to connect to and the password. Now I'll show you on my Android smartphone here, but if you have again a computer, it's working the same way. You just need to select the Wi-Fi network that is saying there. So if I go into my Wi-Fi settings, and these are all the Wi-Fi networks around me, I can see right here, direct apps and WF4820. I click on it and then I'll have to input the password that is saying on the screen. So in my case, it's 222-03-160. Yours will be different, obviously. Press connect. Wait a bit and you are now connected to the Wi-Fi network of your printer. In my case here, I already have the Epson Smart Panel app download it on my Android phone. So let me show you how this works. After entering the app, it will start searching for your printer. Make sure your printer is obviously turned on. After a while, you should see over here your printer name appearing in this list. The smartphone and the printer needs to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Once you see it, simply tap on it. You will get this message, connection is complete, then press OK. You are now on the main page of the app. This is where you're going to interact with the main features. If you want to check the ink levels at any time, you just have to click on your printer and you're going to see them right over here. Now let me show you how to print and how to scan. So how to print, very easy. You see this purple button, you click on it. And depending if you want to print a picture from your phone, choose print photo. If it's a text document uh, or a, any other PDF document with maybe some graphics, you're going to select print document instead. And this is what I will choose. Once you select this, you're going to see all the documents that are uh, available on your phone, on your Android smartphone. And now you can simply browse and find what you want to print. Let's say I want to print this document. I'll simply choose it by tapping on it. I'll have a preview over here. Before pressing the print button right down below, you need to press on this cogwheel. You see on the top right corner, tap on it. You need to check that all these settings are okay with you. So over, over here we have paper size. I'm printing on a US letter size, so I'll leave it here. But if you're printing on a smaller format or a long, bigger format like a legal size paper, you need to change it by tapping over there. If you're printing on plain paper, make sure plain paper is selected because if you're trying to print on glossy paper, but plain paper is selected instead, your ink will smear. So this is why it's very important this settings to be accurate. Next are other settings over here. What kind of print quality do you want? the color, do you want it to be in black and white or in color, stuff like that. You will have to input over here the number of copies you want of this document. I just want one, so I'll leave it like that. Press done and press print if everything is fine. You can also rotate the document, by the way, before doing that, if you think it fits better your project. 
I'll press print, set the phone aside and wait. Okay, it's done. Now let me show you how to use the scanner. So let's go back on the main screen of this app by going by pressing the home button down below. Press OK. And now we have scan here. There's two scanners that you can use on this printer. We have our typical scanner glass. If we lift this lid, this is the scanner glass, scan bed. On the top we have an automatic document feeder, which means that if you have multiple pages, let's say you have a document of three pages or maybe 15 or even more, you can simply input them right on the top and the printer will take them one by one and scan them without you having to touch anything. So let me demonstrate how both of these are working by starting with this automatic document feeder. Here I have three pages. I will align them. Make sure that the top part of your document is on the left side, okay, over here. And you need to put them facing up. So I'll just glide them this way. This is it. Now go on your phone, tap the scan button, make sure that over here document source you have selected ADF because there's two choices here and then make sure that these and then over here it will really depend on what kind of document you're trying to scan. The very important thing to select here is resolution. If you're scanning text documents you can leave it to 200. 300 dpi is great with text documents that have a bit of um, graphics. So you see over here, this document, there's text and there's also some graphics. You can choose 300 dpi to have an acceptable amount of details. If you're scanning anything that is an artwork or maybe a picture, I suggest you choose the 600 dpi to get the maximum details. It will take more time, it can take up to three times more time than if you select 200, but it's well worthy, I think, in my opinion. So for this instance, I will just choose 200 dpi since this is just a test and I'll press the scan button and take a look what happened. I'm not touching anything, the printer will take page by page and scan them. It's very quick and it saves you a lot of, of time comparing to in putting the documents on the flatbed right there. Alright, it's almost done and on the screen here, let's take a look. Once you're done, you're gonna see a preview of all the different pages you just scan and you can add more by the way you can input more pages and press the plus icon here and this will continue scanning and adding to this project once you are done you can crop or rotate the pages if it's not what you like and you can press the next button here you can give this file a brand new name something that is more relatable and then location if you click here You'll be able to select in which folder on your smartphone this will be saved. So if I go back, I can select over here, scan and say use this folder. Then you have the choice to press save. It will save on your phone this document or you can have over here a button where if you click on it, you'll be able to share it on social media, on email and many other ways that you can share it with other people. So you have these two choices. Now let me show you how to use the normal regular scanner on this printer. By the way, if you want to exit, I'll press yes and I'm back here. If I lift this lid, whoops, there's no focus. If I lift this lid, it will unveil the regular scanner, the flatbed scanner. Let me take some paper over here. Let's say I have this to scan. I'll simply put it facing down with the top part of the document on the left side. You see there is an arrow on this corner. I'll simply glide this paper until the corner of the paper touches the corner with the arrow. This is how I know it's aligned. Then close the lid. And on your smartphone, it's absolutely the same thing. So I'll press scan, but the only difference is instead of 
selecting ADF, if I click over here, I'll select scanner glass. This is it. Now I can press scan and it will take a few seconds. I'll have the preview appearing on the screen and I'll be able to share it or to save the results on my smartphone. And uh, yeah, you can zoom in by the way, just to make sure everything is fine. And this is it. I hope my video was helpful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, check my Amazon affiliate links down below. If you want to get some ink or some paper for your printer, you're supporting my channel every time you go through those links and I'll see you in the next video.